you got your instructions in the back, make it clean. Follow my instructions all the time and protect yourself. Touch gloves. Let's go. Here's a fun note before we start the main event. I've been told Nate Diaz was just kicked out of the building for throwing a bottle, so he's gone. Well, hopefully he's allowed back in the building August 5th in Dallas and will be just fine. But I would say on brand. I would say on brand. All right, but let's get down into our main event here. JMX, full of confidence, has not been beaten in boxing, taking on all-pro NFL running back, turned pro boxer, Le'Veon Bell. Box! Le'Veon Bell looking very calm, very dialed into this fight immediately. No, when you've had 350-pound linemen trying to take you down every single time you touch the ball, you're cool. Yeah, JMX looks like a stick to him. <laughs> he's using that jab, and he's sticking that jab just great as well right now, though. Even Le'Veon Bell right at the end of his reach. Uh, I already don't like what I'm seeing, boys. And what I mean by that is Le'Veon loves to duck way down like that. If JMX can catch him on a counter, that could be dangerous. Now something you're seeing too is, you know, this is southpaw versus traditional stance. So you got to get that lead foot on the outside. If you look at JMX's feet right now, he's getting his lead foot on the outside. Le'Veon Bell is not doing that yet. Well, it's clear Bell has to get on the inside and stay there. Well, certainly the height and the reach of JMX is going to be uh, an issue. Oh! oh. Now this is to be expected, right? It's going to take Le'Veon a second to figure out the range, figure out the reach of JMX, figure out how to get in safely and effectively. Once he does, Le'Veon Bell can put your freaking lights out. Le'Veon Bell continues to throw those jabs to the body right now, but that can be a dangerous punch because you are exposed. Yeah, he really, really is. And I think right now, if JMX can really gauge that distance. Well, he just needs to stay right where he's at, Riley. No reason to change the game plan for JMX. Absolutely. And what we're seeing, too, from Le'Veon is he's bringing his rear hand. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the right hand. Partially blocked. JMX shaking it off. Yeah, I thought he did a good job of getting that hand up there. But Le'Veon's starting to pick up the pace. Oh, Sam. You know, Le'Veon, he's bringing that rear hand across the front of his face. So J-Max needs to loop his rear hand Let's around that block to try to land a nice shot. Great, let it go. J-Max is starting to find a home for it. Right hand across, sweeping right hand from J-Max. You can really see, as an athlete who played in the NFL, just how he moves. It's smooth, it's nice, great footwork. You'd expect that from a former running back. It's the composure that's really amazing to me from Le'Veon right now. He looks like he's been here a hundred times, and I think this is his third fight. He's one and one as a boxer. JMX three and zero oh as they exchange fire. Control, nice and relaxed. Deep breath, control. All us, okay. Deep breath, control. We're back in control, are we here? Okay, you can see all he wants to do is step inside you. That's all he's got. As long as we keep falling in the jab, he can't do anything, okay? Yeah. I don't need you, you to sit there. Slow. Now you feign that a little bit, yep. come upstairs with it. High, low, Finish with that low. Hook. Same side shit too. You know what I mean? Hit him in the body and come on top. You ready to go, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Relax, you good? Watch it! Back up! Back up! All right, here's the ending foray there from Bell, who was just beating him or sideways and up and down. And that round belonged to JMX until the last 10 seconds, Riley. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I, you could definitely argue to score that round for Le'Veon Bell just because of that last flurry, but I have to still give it to JMX. It was a it was a great. Oh, that right hand! That was a punch. 
match. Yes, he was off balance, but there was no slip there. I disagree with the call from the referee. No, I really want to see a replay when we get a chance. Oh, good body shot. At first glance, yes, he was off balance, but it was a punch that sent JMX down. Could be a big moment in the fight, no doubt. What's great to see here right now is Le'Veon's not rushing. He's still composed. Big moment, but he's still dialed in. He's not trying to rush the knockout. Stop, 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 stop. Don't hold, don't hold. Box. That's the one thing a lot of these fighters tonight really need to work on as they move on in their boxing careers is learning when to hit, oh, when not to hit. Not hitting behind the head, all those types stop, of things. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, how to have good, clean stop, boxing. Let him go. Box. Job and move. Okay, okay. So JMX needs to get back into that early first round rhythm where he was standing at distance, landing the jab. That's a great point, Todd. We don't see him throwing that jab anymore, right? He's not using that jab to keep Le'Veon off. And honestly, I think a lot of that has to do with Le'Veon's defense. No, oh, big right from Le'Veon. Yeah, that one got through. But also, he's trying to defend himself from all the all the, the, the punches that are now coming his way. That's a great point, Coach. That's a great point. Work out, work out. Don't hold him. Let him go. Let him go. Work out. Well, JMX keeps looking over at the referee almost for help. He ain't going to get it. Don't hold. Let go. Well, I'll give the referees a lot of credit tonight. You don't normally see so many warnings for points for holding. Oh, big right hand. Yeah, JMX does not stop. want to fight this inside no, fight. I don't know why he's not stop. using that jab like he was in the round, first round. Like right now, throw that jab out. You know, Todd, if you look at his legs, they look a little bit wobbly. And, you know, they, they ruled it a slip, but like you said, it didn't, it didn't look like a slip from here at least. So he might still be hurt. He might be working through that. And this is what happens, guys, when you start to take some hits. Now he's throwing one and then covering up. Throwing one and covering up. You can't do any damage when you're doing it that way. Especially with someone who's got great defense like Le'Veon. Yep. Le'Veon went four rounds with Uriah Hall. Four rounds and hurt him multiple times. This is where Bell wants to work in the inside. Grind away. Hey, man. Hey, perfect. You know Hey, so give me a cross to a cross. Boom. You know, you're landing that cross to the body. Come over the top. Pop, pop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now start that body shot. Yep. Come upstairs with it. He don't yep. like that power at all. Yeah, he hates that shit. You can see it. He feeling it. He's like, you he know? He's just wailing that lead hand with that hook. So remember, so. keeping that left hand up, especially after you did to the body. Yep. Boom, back boom. To that hand up. Yeah. He don't like that power, though. This the round. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, this is it. Yeah. So just this boom. The one. And start aiming more for that body. Rip that fucking body clean. Was it a slip? Well, no, that was a, you, you, you called it perfectly, Chris. That was a punch, and I think the referee missed it. Will it cost Le'Veon the round? I don't think so. Well, let's see. One more time. Seconds out. Let's go. Seconds out. Wipe it up. I mean, hey, you got to get your feet right. Yeah, I think, I think that was a punch. Riley, what do you think? Even if you're off balance, even if you're a little bit slippery on your feet, if a punch lands and you fall down, it's a knockdown. Nevertheless, it was not scored a knockdown. Well, that loom large right hand scores for JMX. And this is a tight fight, no doubt about it. Nice shot. Todd Grisham, the coach, and Roundhouse Riley here ringside for our main event. JMX and Le'Veon Bell. I tell you what, you talk about football players have quick instincts. See how good Le'Veon Bell is at seeing the punches that are coming at him. JMX isn't even coming close to touching him right now. Oh, he got him there. Yeah. And you know something else is JMX is now crowding his own punches. At the start, he was at the end of his range. Now he starts his combination. The next thing you know, he's on top of Le'Veon. Oh, nice jab from Le'Veon Bell there. Uh, during the break, Le'Veon Bell's corner Grizz said, this is the round. Well, hey, JMX will put his forehead in your chest and just pound away all day. 
This is where he lives. JMX has got to get out of here. You're too big, you're too long to fight like this. He's not Riddick Bo. Stop, stop, stop. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Yeah, JMX is just exhausted. Yeah, he is so tired right now. He's having a hard time just standing up at this point. Work out, work out, work out. I mean, Eddie Young's is... been working the body, chopping that tree down. Stop, stop, it's been great stop, to see. Stop, stop. Don't throw punches. Don't throw punches when I say stop. Back up. Back up. That's a lonely feeling, isn't it? You're just completely exhausted, and you're in the ring. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And you're with a guy that just simply doesn't get tired. Work out. Work out. Work out. Let's see if Bell can unleash a flurry here in the corner. I like this call by the referee, letting, letting Le'Veon work because JMX is doing nothing in this clinch. And Le'Veon's just wailing on it. And JMX complaining about those shots on the belt. And guess what? The, the lower part of your stomach is a legit shot. There was nothing wrong with those punches. Coach, how does JMX get back in this fight? Because it looks like it's going towards Le'Veon every second in the ring. Well, right now he's more worried about Hey, the, the referee wants the doctor to look at this cut, but we got to get a doctor first. All right, let's look at it one more time. Here's the problem for JMX. Those are, yeah, those, that could be low for sure. The referee can't see it, and JMX just can't afford to be in that position in the first place. But Todd, something I don't like is when he's looking away, looking at the ref, looking at his corner. All right, we're gonna continue. You know, it's it's an experience. That's what it is. So perhaps some low blows land for Le'Veon Bell. Things have gone from bad to worse for JMX. His blood is dripping down his face. He's still showing signs of life, though, with 10 seconds left. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the fourth round. Give it what you got. He's hurt already. Hey, now he's gonna be he's wailing hurt. the front hand like we already know. Keep yeah, that left mean? hand high, two yeah. threes. Boom, boom, and let him have it. Here, want me to get the front? Yeah, you land in that right hand like a motherfucker. Hell two, yeah. three. Yeah, Come it up. Like jab, that. jab, boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you can't let him inside on you. It's fine. Can you get your hands out of the way, please? Doctor taking a good look at that back. cut. Don't do that. Can you get out of the way? No, you opened it. I saw you. That's pathetic, man. Don't stop bleeding. You opened it. What the fuck? It's not. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Well, you don't want to piss off the doctor. Well, that's the last thing you want to do. And clearly, everything that's going on in JMX's corner right now is not good for him. The good thing is it gives him a bit of time. Yeah, they're being very lenient with the time. But hey, we're going to get a fourth round. Let's see what they can do for us. Three minutes to go in New Orleans. Oh, nice right there from JMX, but he can't afford to let Le'Veon Bell close the distance. Le'Veon Bell said, I want the knockout. But now JMX! Le'Veon can't get too, he, he can't chase the knockout too hard. JMX, when they get separated, he's got to throw the one-two right down the pipe and catch Bell coming in. I respect the fact, too, Grish, that Le'Veon Bell's going for the knockout because this is misfits. 
This is crossover boxing. Decisions just quite frankly aren't good enough unless they look impressive. Le'Veon understands that. We just don't see any head movement from JMX. Let me tell you something, you can put your gloves up all you want, but if a, if a former athlete like Le'Veon Bell is punching you in those gloves with his, it's still not fun. I just don't think JMX wants any part of boxing at distance because he's just too exhausted. Well, that's what he needed. It's crazy. I never would have said earlier in this fight that Le'Veon needs to make space and get space. You'd think that that would be JMX's area, but right now that's what he needs. You're absolutely right. Back up. Watch. A minute and change to go. JMX needs to land something big, but it's Bell who just scored. Nice footwork to spin him around, get him confused. He really, really wants this knockout. I would love to see Le'Veon Bell just rip that liver. He's going for the head exclusively. JMX isn't ready for that liver shot. But what he can't do is get caught by one of those big haymakers that are just kind of coming out of left field. Oh, that was the just one like he that. wanted. There you go. That was the one that JMX wanted. me with where he's at at this point. Well, if you're playing bingo at home, we've had basically every decision. We've had a knockout. We've had a split decision. Yes. We've had a unanimous decision. Yes. We've had a draw. Yes. So all we need is the majority decision for a parlay from, we from heaven. <laughs> and we had a disqualification. That's true. Yes. That was wow. the, that's the middle, the middle box. I don't think no there's question. any questions here, guys. I think this is a pretty clear decision win. Yeah, absolutely, Le'Veon Bell won this fight. Hey, May 13th, KSI returns to the ring to take on undefeated professional boxer Joe Fournier. And you know it's live on DAZN, or we wouldn't be talking about it. May 13th, from London. Well, well Riley, nothing for JMX to hold his head down about. Absolutely not. And you know, we talked about this beforehand. Like, if you're gonna go out there, go out there and leave it all out there. JMX falls to the canvas at the end, exhausted. He put everything into this fight. It wasn't enough, but it was still a fantastic performance. I think it really shows what professional boxers go through when they're when they're fighting 10, 12 rounds. These guys are fighting four, and it absolutely wears them out. Well, Ryan Ventura is in the ring with the cards. Let's hear the decision. No one knows if you had the chin or not. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds, we go to the judge's decision. Judge Larry Berger has scored the fight 30-36. Judge Keith Hughes has scored the fight 39-37. And Judge Keith Thibodeau has scored the fight 40-36 for your winner by unanimous decision, the Juice!